Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft mod tutorial. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to update your mod. This is especially important as we're using a Forge beta right now and you want to try and keep up to date with the most recent Forge beta. Luckily it's really easy to update your mod so let's get started. When you want to open up your web browser and go to the latest Forge to files.minecraftforge.net get the latest 1.13 version as you can see here download you want the latest one as that will have the most bug fixes and you want to download the MDK the mod development kit wait six seconds and click skip for the advert and the latest version of forge will download you want to close your eclipse ID if it's open and extract the files here go to your location of your mod and rename the tutorial mod to tutorial mod old and create a new package called tutorial mod then you're going to want to copy everything inside of here go to the most recent um, tutorial mod folder and give it a paste then open up your command prompt and change directory to the location of your um, mod then you want to run the gradle w eclipse again once you've run that you then need to run gradle w gen eclipse runs obviously if you're using intellij you run gen intellij runs and then once you run both the commands you should have a lot of files inside of here you then want to go to tutorial mod old and just copy the source and go into original tutorial mod and click paste and replace the files and everything will be back to normal click F5 to refresh and you will also have this source main t source test Java and source test resources here um, but these are uh, just things that Forge added you just need to leave them in there and everything will be fine and you can delete the example mod again and empty your recycle bin to get rid of it now if you click on the run button up here it'll ask you if you want to run client or run server click run client to click OK and then you should finally be able to run your mod from the Eclipse um, run button rather than using the uh, run client.batch file that we created. As you can see our mod booted um, into the game just using the Eclipse run button rather than the run client bat. So that is that um, error fix that we had from the start of the tutorial series. So if you have liked this video please leave a like down below and subscribe for more. I do recommend that you update your mod frequently when Forge is in beta um, to make sure you get all the latest bug fixes and features added to the Forge 1.13. So just you can come back to this video whenever you need any help updating, but it is quite a simple process. So thanks for watching, my name has been Harry, and goodbye.